Tom, a uh, goalless draw out there. One maybe we could have edged. Good few chances out there, wasn't it? But both keepers busy. What was your assessment after that one? Yeah, I thought we just edged it, to be honest with you. I think they have a lot of possession in the, in the back third of the pitch, which we tried hard to, to try and pick one moment to one, try and you know, break their, their momentum at times. And we did it enough times and created enough good chances. They, they'll argue the, 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 uh, the same, but I thought it was two teams trying to win the football match, which is good. We both made about five subs. We both put on players who we felt would make a slight difference in the terms of the dynamic of the game. And I think all the substitutes did do that. So, yeah, I mean, I'm, a, I'm a happy with a point. Like I always say, a point in this division is, is a precious point yeah. at any stage. You know, these are a great start, York. Um, but I think if you look at the substitutions they were making towards the end, they were very, very happy to get away with a play mm. themselves. Yeah, and I think a clean sheet as well is positive, isn't it? Mm. Although we couldn't quite find the back of that. The, the, if, although we couldn't quite find the back of the net at the other end, you know, mm. we still created those chances. So positives at both yeah, ends. Yeah, yeah, listen, I've got no qualms. I think we'll score goals. It's this is something that we we have worked on, but when you when you have players who are better at keeping clean sheets, they tend not to be as good in terms of technical ability on the ball. That's not a slight at any of our lads individually. It's just a fact. Mm. And um we've got to we've got to, you know, balance that correctly to be fair. But I, it, it all I'll be honest with you, it all pills in insignificance because I've got a real sick feeling in the bottom of my stomach because of losing Ollie Harfield. Yeah. It looked a dreadful uh, injury. We don't know. He's, he's obviously at the hospital now, but I just pray for him because he'd be a massive miss for us. And I, I, I did a similar injury myself towards the end of my career. And it's a bloody bad one if it, if, it, if it is what we think it is. Yeah, of course. Fingers crossed for him. And I'm sure everyone will be thinking the same. Obviously, you don't. no one knows what's happened just yet, do they? But as like you know, does that put any doubt in the players' minds? Like credit to them, they did battle on, didn't they? They didn't really let it affect them too much. But it can't be easy when you see your mate go down like that and then have to play on. Yeah, I mean the moment. I mean there was nothing malicious in the challenge. Yeah. He's, he's obviously falling awkwardly, but I only saw him from a distance as he went by. But the knee didn't look in the right shape to mm. me, and that's, that was very worrying. Like I said, we hope we hope to God that he, you know it, it isn't as bad as what we we first think. But we won't know for a, well at least for a, a day or so in the football. But testament to the squad depth, yeah. you know, we can bring in roles and, and, you know, he did all right out there, didn't he, and played yeah. and contributed towards that clean sheet. Another thing that we saw was Ashat Pan come back in yeah, the squad yeah. um, and another good start from him as well. Yeah, listen, I, I was pleased with everybody, to, to be honest with you, they've all made some sort of contribution in a positive way. You're playing against a team who are top of the, top of the pile at this moment, about the way that when we started the game, um, and that's nearly a quarter of the season. So, you know, we've gone up against an Oldham, um, these, yeah. Forest Green, we've, we've played five very, very tough like teams would be expected to be at the top with another one to come on Tuesday. So, look, I I was frustrated that we didn't win the game. Well, I am frustrated that we didn't win the game. So I'm a winner. I want to win. I want to win everything I do. You know, when my daughter was five year old playing tiddlywinks, I'd beat her just to, just to let her know that's what happens. <laughs> you, you can't win everything, but I want to, um, and I just want them to be the same as me. I think one or two were a little milky, let's say. Um, but I thought the skipper come back under the pitch and showed us what what a tackle is for one thing. Um, but we made we made enough chances to win three games today, um, and people I would put my hat on to put the ball in the net just didn't. So yeah, mm. let's not beat around the bush because they came into this game as league leaders, didn't they? That means that the other teams they've played so far this season have struggled to take points off them. Mm. But we've done that today. We've kept a clean sheet and we've taken a point off the team that is top of the table. So it's all good, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> look. We are in a better position than we were this time last year by some yes. in terms of the depth of the squad. But if you look at all the stats and all the, the numbers that people quote wrongly, we're actually got more points or a bit the same points as last year. Um, but we conceded less. I think we've scored exactly the same, maybe one less now. But, but look, at the end of the day, it, it's a one game thing. So we, we've taken something from the game. We've got one more point than we had this time yesterday. And we looked after that on Tuesday.